I am here with a very lovely Gina Williams and her mother, Vienna. You can come closer. And Gina is another person. She works and no insurance. Gina, tell us about your situation with your job and no insurance. I am a full-time guest cool. service. I am a full-time guest service assistant for the Hilton. They do offer health care, yet it's overpriced. And the coverage that they offer does not meet my medical needs, and so that's why I'm here today. When you say it doesn't meet your medical needs, what do you mean? The coverage is basically low, uh, probably minute clinic pretty much kind of a thing, where I would not get seen for the things that I need to get seen for, and then I would be paying out of pocket on top of the copay that they offer. And do you have any idea what that insurance would cost you if you were able to pay for it? I believe it's $100 a month. Right. And that's just for myself. It's not including my children that I do have at home. How many children do you have? I have three little boys. Wow. And, and I have one with sickle cell anemia disease. And sorry, you have? One with sickle cell anemia. And what do you do with your child with sickle cell anemia? Well, he does get coverage, uh, fortunately, because of his disease, but his brothers do not. Do not have coverage. And no, what do they no. do, Gina? We go to the health department. I have to pay out of pocket for immunizations, physicals, any health care that they need. And Gina, what would you say to your senator about the need for health care for all Americans, yourself and your children? I believe it's a great demand and it's very important that you guys look into it to make sure that everyone is covered. Okay, and Viana, tell me what your situation is. You're also working without insurance. Right, I work for the Internal Revenue. I work for the Internal Revenue Service. And, and their coverage is also expensive. It's over $100, and it doesn't cover family. I have a 27-year-old son who stays with me also. And the problem I have is you have a limitation on doctors you can choose, places you can go, and that seems to be a problem. I should be able to, if I'm paying out of pocket that amount of money, Service should the services unlimited. should be not limited to where I'm able to go. Right, and um, so you're a federal employee. Right. But even as a federal employee, your insurance is too expensive for too, too little. Too expensive. And what would you tell your senator about the need? I would tell the, the senator that we need their help because when we get in situations like this and we're not able to have insurance to cover the needs that we need to be met as far as our health wise, we have, no, we other have no other choice. You know, we're just left hanging. We don't know what's going on with our bodies, you know, and we're dying slowly. We're dying slowly without this help. And we need this health plan to help us to stay alive. Thank you, Viana. Thank and you. Thank you, Gina. You're going to get great care upstairs. Thank, thank you. you so we much. appreciate it. It's a blessing for you guys to be here. And we really appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, ma'am.